Uh, it is Alcoholism Awareness Month, an important topic any time of the year, of course. Joining me now, Dr. Matthew Bruin, CEO of Apex Recovery. Dr. Bruin, thanks for coming in today. It's a pleasure to be here. You started this in Southern California, and you're one of the California guys that moved here to Middle Tennessee. Are you liking your time here? I absolutely love yeah. Tennessee. I originally hailed from Colorado, but kind of had a little tour through there, and I'm grateful to be in the South. It's, Phenomenal place to live. It is great to have you here. Um, the, the top of alcoholism is sometimes very tough for people to talk about. I guess probably one of the hardest things for people to do is first admit that they're in trouble. They're, they're not making it. I would agree. It's really hard to admit you have a problem with pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. But the nature of addiction really makes one try to hide and, and cover it up. And so families and friends are aware of this a lot of times. And there's a period of uh, denial that occurs. Sure. And so that first step is a very difficult one to take. And there's a lot of stops or starts, stops, starts, stops with this recovery process, right? A lot of people don't, it doesn't take to them initially. I say it's a journey, yeah. not a destination, right? Uh, and it's a process. Yeah. So staying patient as a person that struggles with mental health and addiction, as well as being a loved one with someone who struggles with mm -hmm. addiction, uh, you have to kind of have the long game in mind. Yeah, Apex um, has two outpatient facilities in Middle Tennessee and one inpatient facility. Um, tell me, how, how does your approach differ than, say, what we're used to hearing about AA and 12 Steps? Well, I'm a big fan of the 12 Steps. I think there's good principles to be had, but we really focus on evidence-based treatment. Uh, my background comes from a psychological model, and we have what we call an integrative approach. And so we combine actually proven techniques that are evidence-based that work on both the mental health side and substance use side. What's the process of getting into the program? What, what, what's the journey? Where does the journey start? Well, the first part of that journey, as you said, is uh, admitting that you have a sure. problem or being a spouse, loved one, family member, or maybe even an employee that is willing to recognize that someone has a problem and being willing to take that first call. Mm -hmm. The good thing about our uh, company is we really act quickly. Yeah. We have people that provide free assessments. We take people in very, very quickly and work to get them help. This is the sort of thing that you don't want to wait on. Yeah, you've been a, a doctor for a while now. You, d you did a lot of marriage counseling and addiction um, counseling. W what drives you? What, what, what got you into this business? What keeps you going each and every day to do it? I will tell you, there is such an unbelievable and quick turnaround for people that come into our program mm -hmm. and really get good qualified help. Mm -hmm. And to see someone that is literally at death's door yeah. make the kind of quick and amazing turnaround is unbelievably exciting. But I'll pause for a second and yeah. say what's even more exciting is working with patients and their families for a year, which is what we do. We have a process that takes you through that and watching the complete 180 life trans information mm -hmm. is absolutely miraculous to watch. And the, and the program does take certain forms of insurance. I noticed that on your website there. Yes, we take all, almost all major insurances okay. and either are in network or in the process of becoming in network very, very quickly. Yeah, um, it's, it's incredible. And, and I understand you, know, you were in San Diego first. You're very well known in, in San Diego. Now you're here with your three locations. Um, are, are a lot of people finding you? Are a lot of people being able to reach out? Absolutely. People are able to find us. We have a phenomenal team of very qualified and good-hearted individuals that are out in the community and working with other professionals. Um, so yes, and there's a huge need, as we know, uh, kind of post-COVID and just where we are um, in our country in general. And we never talked about that. We could talk about that, too, about people sinking further and further into this during COVID. But I've run out of time here. I want to get people the information, how to get and reach out and get in touch. There's a one inpatient facility, two outpatient and you guys will make the determination what the best course is? Absolutely, and we'll hold your hand, work with your family throughout the whole process. Uh, go into our website, calling our number. Um, we will immediately get on board, provide free assessment for you and work. And, and if for some reason our facility is not the correct one, we will take the time to help you find help wherever it's needed. Dr. Bruin, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, it's Apex Recovery, and when you go to the website, there's a drop down for locations. Pick the Nashville area locations, and that will take you to all the information pertinent to us. We have a link at WKRN.com if you want to see this interview again.